I'm going to do this subject. And um, the first thing you notice when uh, you walk or ride through the highway is that it has uh, too many lines, which makes uh, uh, an, uh, which make uh, which makes this an even more dangerous place uh, for for everyone, pedestrians and drivers. So we propose that uh, we uh, reduce the speed limit and that it should have uh, three lanes instead of four. So uh, having uh, three lanes instead um, instead of four uh, can uh, provide organization for cars and drivers, so uh, that they won't uh, have to stress over which lane to go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> As you see in this image, <laughs> okay. As you see in this image, you see two street lights far away from each other, which is a very difficult. It's a big situation, basically. So as I was walking on the highway, the north side, we saw that the trees were like over the place, which was bad, basically. And there were like less lighting. Okay. So since it's poor lighting, it caused like at least 22 incidents that occurred at night, which was since 2011. Um, drivers and pedestrians over overestimate their ability to see at night due to low vi sorry, visibility and low contract. So we, so we propose that we have LED lights and change light limits, and as well as um, light up crosswalks. If we had more lights, we would, it would give us more access to the brightness and no darkness at all. <laughs> So the best part about these LED lights is that they are, they are solar powered, and which converts to 90% of the energy into bulb compared to a floor's light bulbs. It helps drivers see when they see a pedestrian. Okay. Um, we also plan to have light up crosswalks since um, what she means is uh, the RFBs that um, the morning lights to a uh, guide to the uh, to the signs uh, to drivers that pedestrians are crossing. And on that photo and that image we want those lights, and we thought that those lights would be a good idea for older highways since on the sidewalk they have lights and as well on the, the medians have lights as well and they're solar powered which makes them ecosystem eco-friendly. <coughs> we want to decrease the speed limit. Uh, from uh, 45 miles per hour to 30 uh, miles per hour. So this will uh, give uh, drivers more of a uh, reaction time if they uh, aren't paying attention. Uh, okay, so uh, narrow the lanes um, also uh, help, uh, the, um, the help enforce the, the speed limit. Um, uh, okay. Uh, just uh, I go to. <laughs> also, it gives uh, pedestrians and drivers more of a survival chance if uh, they're involved in a crash. So, if we replace the highway uh, speed limit signs and uh, if we recognize the uh, the highway elements um, simpler and more uh, 
when I went to the uh, more sanitary uh, sector, uh, thanks for your consideration. Uh, now he's uh, coming. So one of the problems that we noticed while we were on Boulder Highway is the bicycle lanes. And the problem with the bicycle lanes is that they are unprotected and they're harder to see by drivers. So for example, in this picture, the bike lanes are faded. And not only are they faded, but part of the bike lanes are actually missing as well, making it hard for drivers to see, especially while they're driving at night. Now the problem with this picture is we feel that the bus and bike lane are too close together. And why we feel like this is a problem is because with buses being such a wide load, it makes it harder for them to follow the three feet rule, which could make cyclists feel, sorry, feel more uncomfortable while they're uh, riding on the street. So we came up with two solutions to the problem. One of them is to paint the bike lanes green. By using a more vibrant color, it stands out more on the road, helping drivers see it more during the day and during the night. Our second solution to the problem is to add a barrier between the bike lane and the bus lane, giving them a little bit more protection. Along with using barriers, we want to spread out the lanes, giving them two feet of room on each side of the barrier, so that way cyclists have a little more room to feel more secure while they're on the road. And the nice thing about implementing a barrier is not only are we giving cyclists more protection, but we're also helping pedestrians feel safer while on the sidewalks. Now, next talking about sidewalks, here's Theo. Okay. So I'm here to talk to you about sidewalk improvements. So as you all know, we, um, we're touring on Boulder Highway, walking on the sidewalk. And as we were walking on it, we noticed that it was in poor condition. As we walked through it, um, we didn't really feel like um, it wasn't the most enjoyable walk to say. So here's the first picture that we took. Um, as you can see in this picture, there is a light post directly in the middle of the sidewalk, which is a hazard for pedestrians as they could walk right into it. Um, so what we want to do is we want like, a lot of a lot of the poles that are inside the sidewalk to be moved to the back in order to make it safer for pedestrians. You know, have um, more space for pedestrians. And in this other picture that we saw, um, as we were walking down the street, we noticed that there were a lot of overgrown plants on the sidewalk. Like the plants cover maybe like twenty percent of the sidewalk. It was really rough for us to walk even on the sidewalk, two people standing next to each other. A lot of us kind of walked in the, the rocky median in between the road and the sidewalk, and that's very dangerous because we're putting ourselves right next to traffic. And you can see there's also another pole right in the middle that is further blocking our, our um, ability to walk. And the circle above is the tree, and I was walking on the tree, and I had to duck underneath that tree because that was way too low. I had to go like on the rock, rocky median again, all that stuff. And another picture that we saw, we saw um, like vandalism, like destruction of the bus stops, so um, further contributing into you know the poor condition of. And this picture that um, Erica took is really sad because the sidewalk just ends. There's no place for pedestrians to feel any safer or any safe on that like gravel because there's no curb to protect them. If a car drifts over, they have no prote protection against a car that were, was if they were to come in. And yeah, I feel like that definitely needs to be finished, make, give it more space for the crosswalks, you know, make pedestrians feel as safe as possible. So what can be done? First of all, we definitely need to have improved conditions on the sidewalk. Um, maintenance, upkeep of the sidewalk. We propose that um, we have an adopt a highway program on Boulder Highway so that way 
We have businesses who are responsible for the upkeep of them, making sure that um, there's resources available to make the sidewalks a better place. And we also want to, as mentioned before, extend the sidewalks, giving pedestrians a further sense of security while walking on Boulder Avenue. So now I'm going to pass the mic over to Deborah. Um, so we had an opportunity to go to Boulder Highway with Aaron, and um, we saw we watched a man um, coming from the trailer park cross the street, and you can see it's clearly not marked as for a crosswalk, just to get to Walmart. And I think we should put uh, crosswalks where people actually walk instead of moving bus stops and <laughs> things like that. And um, because you would have to go walk a quarter of a mile just to get to the nearest crosswalk and then just walk all the way around. And I just think that's really pointless and out of their way just to get some, uh, some groceries. So, and it is, it is illegal for him to walk there. It is. So, um, he wouldn't have known that. And if someone hit him, they could blame it on him. But he wouldn't have known. He was just trying to be productive and it's an easier way to walk. So I think that we should really put crosswalks where people actually walk. And you can see in this picture, they're, um, they're gated. We need high visibility crosswalks. You, drivers cannot be able to see um, the crosswalk, so they would blame the pedestrian if they were walking on an area that is not marked. So really putting like, high visibility crosswalks and and glow in the dark crosswalks just to, for drivers to be able to be seen and, well, for drivers to be able to see the pedestrians as they walk and know that they're actually crossing the crosswalk, they're not just crossing the same random part. And in this picture, the third picture, if someone, there's a crosswalk, but it doesn't lead to a safe median at all. And that's dangerous because if it's putting the pedestrian in, um, it's out in the middle of the street, it's dangerous and it's just, it's not safe for them. And so I there's two options that you could do. You could extend the median that is already existing there, already there, and have it there so then they can walk safely. And then there's also something we could do. We could put a Danish offset, which is an S-shaped crossing that puts the pedestrian, it faces them to traffic so they can see in the eyes of the driver, so they can see where they're going and the drivers can see them clearly. So putting that there, I think, is a perfect example and having them walk across and just, it would be much safer. So I've already mentioned the Danish crosswalk. That's a good picture of it. And also um, adding just more crosswalks where people walk, but also adding warning lights. RFBs. They, you can see them on the picture on the board ahead. Yeah. And the picture up there it is solar paneled. So it is very easy and considerably cheap to install. So you would put that up there and they would, uh, drivers would be able to, um, they would be able to see that there is a pedestrian crossing area. So you need to slow down, yield and give them some space so they would be able to cross safely. And I think that is be a more safe and secure thing for Boulder Highway to do. So, thank you. Okay, so this is the new Boulder Highway. We have improved, and you can see that there's a Danish crosswalk, and we want to share the bike lane and the bus lane, but give them, like, you can explain the two feet of. Right. Do you want to give them two feet of room going off the sides, up a bear, here, so that way they feel safe? And then, yeah, there's barriers here, and there's a little barrier in the, on the Danish crosswalk. So and we also have the warning lights on there, the RFP, right? The RFP, RFP and also the extended sidewalks that we really want to implement to make pedestrians. So, yeah, and two arterial lanes, you know, narrower lanes to make, um, and also reduce speed limit, and that'll make um, 
drivers more aware of their um, speed and keep pedestrians safe as they um, try to cross the street. And the cool thing about the warning lights is most warning lights, they have the same pattern of lights and your brain gets used to them. But the warning lights, they have a pattern that your brain, the RFB, the, they have a pattern that your brain will never get used to, so it kind of reminds you every single time to move to slow down. So, I think that's really Here are we're excited for our pictures. <laughs> thank you for listening. Does anyone have any questions? at the bottom of it where the pattern flashes and it's a bright like orange and yellow and it kind of just goes like irregularly across instead of just like the regular you know you could predict when it was about to be shot. The regular blinking lights as opposed to that. Thank you. Yes. Any other questions? No? So um, my first question is on the speed limit. So changing the speed limit from 45 to 10 as you know, a lot of people are going to work. Everybody is in a hurry. People even wish you had 55 instead of 45. So have you guys thought about what that delay is going to do to people who are driving to work? Now you slow them down 15 minutes an hour. Well, um, we think that um, we, what we did when we proposed to do the 45 to 30 miles per hour, we wanted to make pedestrians safer and also the narrower lanes, the narrower lanes will pro hopefully curb the tendency for drivers to want to speed. And there's also um, a highway next to um, both highway, like, 15, I think. Yeah, highway, it's another alternative Yes, an alternative route, so. There's two, already two highways, so you don't need another Yeah, we think it's a bit, like, um, <coughs> extra for the drivers and you know, we're trying to make pedestrians as safe as possible. Thank you. So you did answer my follow-up question. Was the two-lane moving, four-lane moving to two-lane? But that has been answered with okay. the alternative. All right. Thank you for your question. Thank you so much for listening.